Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Disney Read Along, I think that's what they're calling it, um, which is hosted by Tiny Book Dragon and I will link her announcement video down in the description for you to go and check that out. So this readathon read along is um, running from the 19th to the 25th of May so it's a week-long readathon. I had decided that I was gonna have a bit of a break from readathons after trying to do too many in February and getting myself a little bit tangled up and putting too much pressure on myself to read certain things so I wasn't gonna take part in any more readathons for a while but then I heard them announce that this readathon was coming back and this was actually the first readathon I ever took part in. It was before I had a booktube channel so I wrote about it in my blog which I was actually writing fairly regularly at the time and I haven't really written anything for since. So when I heard that they were doing another round I really wanted to take part and I think it's one that I'm going to try and take part in every year. There are five challenges and they're all quite straightforward and I'm really happy with my TBR because I can actually kind of hit most of the challenges with just one book so I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to go through what the challenges are and then I'm going to talk you through what I'm planning to read for that week. The first challenge is called The Beast and it is read a beast of a book so a book that is longer than 500 pages. The second challenge is called Flower and it is read a book with black and white on the cover um, inspired by the skunk from Bambi. Three is Meet the Robinsons, read a book set in the future. Four is The Incredibles, read a book featuring characters with magical or superhero abilities. And challenge number five is Tangled, read the original Rapunzel fairy tale and watch the film. So. I mean that one is the most straightforward and I've not got it with me in this room actually but I have the Grimm's Fairy Tales which has Rapunzel in it so I'm going to read that one and I'm also going to try and make some progress with reading that book of fairy tales because it's taken me ages. So I'm, I plan to read one a night when I start reading it and I often forget so I'm going to try and read one a night for the rest of the month or at least for the duration of the readathon. As for the other challenges I've got a variety of options but I can hit most of the other challenges with I could complete this by reading two books. So I have books for every challenge but I'm hoping because it's only a week I want to try and hit as many challenges as I can in as few books as possible. So my first book that I'm definitely going to read and it's going to be the first one I read is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So this is the second book in the Illumine files which I read Illumine back last September and I haven't got around to this one yet so I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. So this counts for Challenge 1 The Beast because it is 659 pages so that's definitely a beast of a book it doesn't look like it and because it's mixed media they do they are quite quick reads so I'm really looking forward to getting back into this one it also quite clearly has black and white on the cover and it's also set in the future so I can tick off challenges one two and three in this one book which is fantastic and then after that I have a few options so the next book that I will probably try and pick up is this one this is Sisterland by Curtis Sittenfield this is from my book death row list and it's also one of the oldest books on my TBR so it'd be really great to get to this one and check off a couple of things for those challenges as well so this one is also way over 500 pages so it also meets challenge one and from what I understand from the blab the two main characters are twins and they have sort of a twin thing going on and they have sort of the ability to predict the weather so I'm classing that as sort of a superhero slash magical ability and I think this book falls into sort of the magical realism or urban fantasy type genre but I don't know definitely until I read it but again although it's quite long it's got quite big print I think it'll be quite a quick read so hopefully I'll get through that one if I realise it doesn't meet that challenge then I'll have to read something else. So I have a couple of options of backups for if I want to branch out or if I have some time left. So the next one that I can read for that final challenge of book featuring characters with magical or superhero abilities, I've got The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I have this out from the library at the moment. So this is about a Ava Lavender, a girl born with the wings of a bird. So that's kind of magical ability. I picked this up from the library on a bit of a whim. It's been on my books to find list for ages and then I saw that they had it and decided to pick it up. I'm really looking forward to reading it. It's actually due back at the library before this readathon starts so I might actually read it before the readathon or otherwise we'll have to hope that I can renew it. 
So that is one that I really want to read for that challenge. But my backup if Sisterland doesn't count and if I have to return that one before the end of the readathon, my final option for challenge four is Days of Blood and Starlight, which is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lady Taylor. Again, I read Daughter of Smoke and Bone like back in October and I've been meaning to get to this and haven't got around to it yet. This book is also over 500 pages, so it also meets two challenges. And I'm really looking forward to get back in, getting back into this world because I really love Lainey Taylor's writing and it's been a couple of months since I've read anything by her. So really looking forward to that. If I have time left and I want to sort of read some more so that I actually manage to read one book per challenge, I have a couple of options as well to meet some of the other challenges again. So one book that I really want to get to soon, which I actually at the moment have two copies of, is Red Shirts by John Scalzi. So <laughs> I got this one out from the library again because I'd heard really good things about it and then when I read the blurb I was like oh I think my dad would like this and it was my dad's birthday in April so I bought him a copy for his birthday and he loved it and lent it straight back to me and said I would love it too so this one will be going back to the library and I'll be using my dad's copy this is set in the future and has black and white on the cover you can see this is about it's loosely based on, it was kind of a bit of a parody of Star Trek and um, in the original series of Star Trek you knew a character was probably going to die if they were wearing a red shirt and they went on an away mission so this is based on that premise of the red shirted people banding together to try and prevent themselves being killed and my dad loved it he thought it was brilliant so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy that too. And then finally if I am in a weird mood and don't want to read any of those I have one more option which is again for the red and black on the cover pick and um, which is called Are You Dave Gorman by Dave Gorman. This is a comedy book, it's non-fiction so these are true events where Dave Gorman and Danny, Danny Wallace had a bet that Dave Gorman couldn't find. Dave thought there must be hundreds of people in the world who shared his name, Danny didn't so they had a bet to see how many people Dave Gorman could find that were also called Dave Gorman. This again is from my book Death Row but it's one that I actually do quite want to read and I remember seeing it on TV when I'm sure they made a TV show about it as well. Yeah I'm quite looking forward to that and so that's one another one of my backups and even if I don't read all of these for the readathon I am going to try and read them all during the month because I don't really have much other many other reading things planned so anyway here we go. TBR. Six books for a <laughs> for a readathon that only has four challenges essentially and that I can actually cover with two books but never mind I like to have options if you've seen me do readathons before you'll you'll know that I'm a mood reader and change my mind so I might actually end up reading things that aren't on this pile anyway I think I'm probably gonna vlog that readathon it's, it's been a while since I've done a reading vlog so let me know if you are up for seeing that and I will track my reading through the week and I'll, you'll be able to see from that vlog if I do stick to this TBR or if I pick other random things that I've not mentioned here yet yeah so you I hope you enjoy watching that and let me know if you're taking part in the readathon if and if you are what you're planning to read otherwise that's it for today and I will talk to you again soon bye <laughs>